Minister, the country is still reeling from the attack last Thursday. As I speak, one of the children and Leanne Flynn, the heroic crash worker who put her life on the line, remain in a critical condition in hospital. All of our thoughts are with them. Almost immediately after the attack, Irish far-right agitators began to spread their venom through social media. They stoked up discrimination, fear and tensions in a despicable attempt to blame our migrant population for the attack. They urged their supporters to gather in the city and they placed a target on the back of 20% of our population. The resulting riots that occurred in Dublin last week were horrifying. Rioters assaulting, looting and burning everything in their path. The hypocrisy of their feigned attempt to protect the women and children of Ireland is simply pathetic. The air of intimidation is now pervasive in the city. Everyone feels unsafe and uneasy thanks to them. This threatening atmosphere is particularly impacting our migrant community. We all need to be very clear that migrants are welcome in Ireland. They are our family, our friends, our neighbours, our loved ones. A diverse society only benefits our culture and our communities. Not to mention the fact that the country would grind to a halt without migrant workers who keep whole swathes of our public services and our economy afloat. We owe them a huge debt of gratitude for their enormous contributions to our society. It is shameful that many of them now feel so unwelcome. What happened on Thursday must be a watershed moment. Ken Corl, I also want to put on the record my unequivocal support for the rank and file Gardaí who did everything they could last week to keep those riots at bay. I, along with the whole country, was in complete awe of their bravery. Unfortunately, the truth is they were not provided with the resources to do their job safely. The Commissioner's hands-off approach to the far right has resulted in an escalation in violence. Garden management too has been let down by this government whose promises of better resources and more recruitment haven't materialised. The Social Democrats and in particular my colleague Gary Gannon have been warning for years about the threat of the far right and criminality in Dublin city centre. In response, the Justice Minister, the Taoiseach and the Taunashta have always dismissed those concerns. Today, they seek to undermine them as politicking. This is just a blatant and desperate attempt to evade responsibility. The reality is there are now 514 fewer Gardaí in Dublin than there were in 2008, despite the fact that the population has increased by 200,000 people during that time. Minister, on Thursday, the far right did not hide their intentions to riot. The opposite, they were openly rallying support online for everyone to see from early in the day. The streets were on fire, overtaken by violence and racism, despite the prior warning signs. There must be accountability for that and there must be a change in approach. It's clear that the Commissioner is not capable of understanding and handling the threat of the far right. And I haven't heard anything from the Minister today that has instilled any confidence in her ability to provide this city and the country with the safety and security that it desperately needs.